to say that um, my experience uh, as a member of the LGBT community has been very, very positive. Um, warm acceptance by all of the faculty, uh, and I feel like I'm surrounded with peers that are uh, gay and straight and bi and transgendered. Uh, every, every possible dimension of sexuality is represented by the student body. Um, so I would invite and encourage anyone who has uh, any uh, trepidation about uh, uh, their sexuality to certainly consider Lancaster. It's very safe and you'll find folks here ready to meet you uh, and uh, happy to have you part of this organization. One of the things that I came to seminary with some trepidation about was the Bible. The Bible um, had been used uh, so much of my life as a weapon against me that I had kind of kept it at arm's distance. So I was looking forward to really digging in and studying what was really in the Bible with the hope of finding uh, something that was a little bit more friendly. And I have to say that the classes here uh, and the instructors introduction of historical criticism to my way of looking at the Bible, having different lenses to look at the Bible uh, through other than simply a literal interpretation has really made the Bible way more friendly to me and I've uh, really enjoyed my time in those classes. Uh, another area that I feel I've grown in is the whole, the whole area of uh, spiritual discernment. Uh, both the MS classes and uh, working with a spiritual director and being in the Shalem uh, spiritual directing program uh, have been very, very uh, instrumental in expanding my notion of what uh, spirituality can be, um, how uh, the different faces of prayer and how to deepen my relationship with God and uh, share that with other folks. This is probably the third or fourth career that I've had. My first training was in design for the stage. I have a degree from a New York University and uh, was a resident costume designer for the Alliance Theater in Atlanta for five years. And following that, uh, began to be involved in educational theater, worked at the National Technical Institute for the Deaf. Um, after eight years, I began to uh, be a little bit burned out and so I was looking around for another way to use my education so I took a job with the Mississippi State Hospital which is a mental health care facility and worked there in the adult education program for nine years and uh, I, f I, I really grew in that job uh, that it taught me a lot about myself and a lot about uh, working with people and at the end of my time there, I uh, began to realize that what I wanted, I wanted to change my relationship with the folks that I was working with uh, into something that was more pastoral. Once I uh, found my uh, church home with the United Church of Christ, uh, a place that accepted my sexuality and my uh, theology, uh, I began to think that it might be possible for me to entertain a call that I'd felt since high school. And I, uh, I finally said yes, that, uh, that I really was uh, called and was going to uh, accept God's plan for me to do ministry. And uh, that's what brought me here to Lancaster.